mounted the robotic arm to our Devastar tank platform. In this video I'll run over real quick how this guy is put together and then we'll take it out and see how it performs. In the first video we looked at this robotic arm and how to program it using an Arduino. In the second video we looked at this Devastar tank platform. In this case there's no Arduino yet, it's still remote controlled so the addition was this RC transmitter and receiver right here. Right now I have all the guts splayed out so we can talk through and see how the different parts work. Just like in our second video, the robot is still powered by the 7.4 volt LiPo battery, which is connected to our Sabertooth speed controller. This in turn is connected to our receiver at channels 1 and 2, so this is going to be our right thumbstick to control it. Our receiver also has our robotic arm plugged into channels 3 through 4, so this is so we can control our robotic arm. However, if you notice, there's only two connectors for the servos. That's because they have their own power supply here because they are competing too much against our uh, drive motors for the amount of current they draw. Um, so to solve that, you know, we give them their own battery pack. Um, we still have the grounds connected because whenever you have a system like this, you want all your grounds connected. Here we have our cheap uh, six channel transmitter and the receiver you saw earlier came in a pack together with this. Um, really easy to set up. There'll be a link for this on my website, blockbuilds.com, and how to build this. So like I said, channel one and two are drive. Um, before we were using the you know left-right thumbsticks to control it, but now we have set up so um, the saber tooth controller automatically mixes it, and then over here on channels three and four control our arm. So that's down, up, and then tilt, and then up here channel five is this knob. So if you turn it around, it closes and opens our uh, our hand. So let's take this outside and see how it works. Thank you for checking out part three of my surveillance robot build. Um, we're going to put this project on hold for a while, but eventually we're going to put a camera on this and make it autonomous. Other projects coming up are another attempt at a Home Depot surfboard and a full-size streetlight light organ. So come back and check out more videos. Again, write-ups and everything on the website, blockbuilds.com. Check it out. Thank you.